Okay, a couple different checks for the BVM here. First simple check, squeeze it, see if it self-inflates. The self-inflation will tell you that those valves are properly working. So when you squeeze it, that compressible body should self-inflate, regardless if there's an oxygen source or not. That's one of the features of a self-inflating bag. Second test, check that inspiratory pop-off. Occlude the patient connection, squeeze the bag with substantial force, and check that pop-off. See if it's holding pressure too. So try not to make the pop-off go. See what it feels like, how the, the compliance of the bag is. And I'll give you an idea once you're bagging too. Final check I usually do is I take off my reservoir and I check that patient intake valve. I want to squeeze my bag. I want to occlude that patient intake valve. And I want to see that that bag stays collapsed. If that bag didn't stay collapsed, then I know I've got a problem with that valve because that bag should only re-expand when that valve unseats and it can only unseat when I take that occlusion away. Those three checks will verify the function of your BVM and give you the confidence that you can oxygenate and ventilate your patient uh, with the technical accuracy and the basic maneuvers of utilizing this device.